When you're starting out in landscape photography, it can feel pretty overwhelming at times. There are so many things to keep in mind. It's important to be patient with yourself and simply try to improve one thing each time you go out and shoot. Hi and welcome. I thought I'd share with you some of the tips that help me when I'm composing seascape photographs. Having grown up on Cape Cod where we're essentially surrounded by water, I fell in love with the ocean. I'm fascinated by its many moods. The first thing I always do is to check my weather app. If I have a certain day or time I want to try and film, I want to know what the predicted weather is and then I can adjust my plans accordingly. Next, I Google the tide tables for the location I'm going to. I prefer to shoot at low tide if I can, but maybe you want to capture some wave action and want high tide. When I arrive at the site, the first thing I do is to check for the light. Is there any, and how can I use it to my advantage? Is it filtered by clouds, or is it a totally flat sky? Maybe it's sunrise or sunset with beautiful colors, or golden hour. I try to figure out where the light will fall, and if I want to use side light, backlight, or shoot directly into the sun. Next, it's time to narrow in on the location for your photograph and which elements you'd like to include in the frame. If possible, you want to have a main focus or subject with an interesting foreground, midground, and background. I chose this composition because the sand is leading into the frame. The sun will be setting on one third, hopefully reflecting on the ocean. I'm trying to get a little bit of the foreground, the shells and the seaweed along the edge. So in this photograph, the line of the shore leads your eye into the photo, but there really isn't a main subject. I usually use my wide angle 16 to 35 millimeter lens and try to get near the edge of the water if it's safe. Being closer to the water makes the photograph feel more dynamic. Know if the tide is coming in or going out, and don't turn your back to it. Using a tripod will give you nice sharp photos. Look for natural leading lines. Leading lines are a great way to draw your viewer's eye into the frame. This could be the line of the water along the shore, tidal pools, ridges and textures in the sand from receding tide, anything that will draw your viewer's eye into the photograph. A lot of the beaches I visit don't really have a lot of rock formations and so oftentimes I try to go at sunrise or sunset and then I have the sand, waves, and a beautiful sky making up my simple composition. Seascapes can be challenging, but when you get that amazing photograph, it's all worthwhile. 
As you become more comfortable with seascapes, you'll probably want to start experimenting with filters and long exposures. That's a video for another day. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. It helps out my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care and I'll see you next week.